Hello, today we're going to go over a brand new uh, microscope that we're selling here at Bunton. Uh, it's called the MHS microscope. It's designed for high speed digital recording of microfluidic uh, devices, and it's a complete research microscope with uh, built in transmitted light. And typically, a microscope. <coughs> is included with the base system. It's a very nice macro zoom. We've tested this and compared it to uh, other macro zooms on the market and uh, this one far outshines uh, most of uh, the ones we've looked at. The uh, front lens on it is a 2x. That can be removed and uh, uh, this gives you more working distance but the big component that you see here is a uh, zoom lens with detents on it, and that's those detents put you in specific mag settings so that you can make measurements with this system. So this not only allows you to visualize and do real-time high-speed recording to do slow motion studies, uh, but this system uh, uh, is intended for use with either a monochrome camera, which is the standard camera, uh, doing 266 frames per second up to 2700 frames per second. Uh, if you need color, then that uh, color camera is available, and that's what I've got set up now. So, this is the basic microscope. It clamps onto the front here. It's about uh, 11 inches long, doesn't take up much space, great working distance. Uh, the other microscope that we're offering with the uh, MHS microscope stand is made here in the United States by uh, Infinity Photo Optical out in Colorado. This is the model KC. The KC is unique in that we can put a C-mount camera on here or a large format digital SLR camera. Uh, typically though for the MHS we're going to be using small format cameras uh, we like the Bastler products, the Bastler uh, digital small format cameras from Germany. So here you see the KC configured, and the reason we use the KC, Bunton has their own filter cube housing, uh, so-called plume illuminator, and the plume illuminator allows you to quickly interchange filter cubes to go from blue light excitation to green light. Uh, to add to the U.S. flavor of this version of the MHS, we have a USA made LED uh, and in this case we're exciting a very old slide that I've got here of some cultured cells for an ANA test. <clears throat> it slides about 20 some years old and uh, it still does a bit of fluorescing uh, with FITC and this slide was probably prepared before they even had GFP on the market. The filter cube that's in here is optimized for a GFP preparation, but for demo purposes I think you'll get the point. With the LED, blue LED coming through the filter cube, we can even adjust the intensity uh, from the LED itself or we can go into the software and uh, uh, tweak the exposure and the gain. Here we can set the uh, gain on automatic and turn, turn it off if we need to and adjust the gain manually. So there's all kinds of combinations here. Let's tweak up the gain a little bit so you can at least see what's going on here. We have a mechanical stage that allows us to move the sample uh, in the X and the Y axis. So you can see that's not bad for a 20 some year old uh, slide. Now to do focusing we can use the fine focus, it's a micrometer drive here on the right. This allows you to fine focus whatever you're focusing on. Uh, but once you're in the ballpark, you can, also, you can also use the integrated focusing mechanism 
that's part of the KC microscope. Instead of using a low power 2x objective, in this case we're using a lights infinity corrected 25x objective. So this is the configuration that you would use for high magnification or we can take this 25x objective off and put on to the front lenses, just RMS thread, put on to the front we can put the uh, low magnification IF optics from Infinity Photo Optical and do low magnification fluorescence. So as you can see optically this is a very very flexible system where we can go from macro zoom to high magnification micro and uh, we can do the LED illumination or if you already have a uh, a liquid light guide, uh, metal halide lamp that you want to put to use. The lamp is quickly disconnected and you can use your existing uh, illumination system. So here again, uh, this is a uh, research type instrument. There's a little brighter signal here because we haven't cooked the fluorocrops. But you can see these individual cells quite nicely and uh, if you don't want to cook them quite as fast, you can turn it down and then play with the gain and the, the usual uh, contrast enhancing methods uh, uh, with the digital camera can be manipulated. Um, so that's it for now and uh, we just want you to be aware of this. Take a look at my other YouTube that we'll be doing uh, on using the same KC without the fluorescence and we'll be using it with high magnification optics and we'll have the monochrome camera in place. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to call us if you have any questions.